Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 41-year-old male. He was lifting some logs about a month ago and felt a pop in the wrist and pain, and the wrist persisted. So the doctor ordered an MRI of the wrist here, and on this view, we can see that there's white stuff in here. This is contrast. This is a MRI arthrogram. Contrast was injected into the proximal carpal row here, and we can see that there's abnormal extension here into this widened scaphalunate interspace and into the mid-carpal compartment. Some contrast also tracks distally here related to ligament injuries. If we look over here really quickly at the TFCC, we see that that looks normal. And this is the radius. The end of the radius is here. This is the end of the ulna. The ulna should end about right here with a little bit shorter than the radius. This is a neutral variance. If this was higher, we'd call that a positive variance, and that can lead to injuries in the TFCC. If it was lower, we call it a negative variance. That will cause abnormal stress between the radius and uh, lunate bone here. But this is just perfect. And it looks like the TFCC is intact. So this is the finding right here. So we have a ruptured scaphalunate ligament. We see this big gap here. So we know that the capitate bone is migrating proximally. And with that proximal migration, um, there's widening here, and then when it widens, it opens the space further and allows it to come uh, down further and further widen. So it gets into a cycle where um, the capitate migrates downward, causes lots of pressure on the uh, scaphoid bone here, and then the scaphoid bone will eventually start to collapse and have arthritic change. And right now we're catching it pretty early because there's no arthritis just a significant widening and this is at high risk to go on to that arthritis. So when they get arthritis into wrist, especially in the radial side here involving the scaphoid bone and bony collapse, the lunate as well, we call it a slack wrist, S-L-A-C for scaphalunate advanced collapse. And over here is the lunate trichetral ligament. It's a really tiny little ligament here. You Sometimes you almost don't even see it. It's just a little wisp and as long as this is not widened, um, they're usually in good shape. It's very rare to see it injury over there, but this is the main one to look for, the scaphalunate ligament. This is an easy case because it's completely torn, ruptured, and again, they get this proximal migration with secondary arthritis. Now, if we look on a sagittal view, we can see that well, with that ligament injury, we see the lunate bone here is angulated dorsally. This is the dorsal part, uh, dorsal wrist rather. This is the palmar wrist and the dorsal tilt of the lunate bone here. We can see the angle backwards, and this will be associated with posterior subluxation of the capitate bone here. It looks like it's pushed back ever so slightly because of that dorsal tilt. And when it's tilted like this, we call it dorsal intercalated segmental instability, DISI. And again, that is just dorsal tilt of the lunate with a little bit of posterior subluxation of the capitate bone here. If we look here, we can see this ligament coming off the back of the lunate. Looks like it comes up and ends here. So this looks like it may go up here and should attach to the capitate bone here. So the ligament is ruptured, pulled down, and this is allowing it to angulate backwards. And when this is tilted dorsally, the angle you know, is abnormal here. And it's the angle between the uh, scaphoid bone, where's that scaphoid bone? Right there. The scaphoid bone and lunate bone, the scaphoid lunate angle is uh, increased. This is rotated backwards. So normally it'll be between about 30 to 60 degrees, and this one's uh, significantly beyond that. So it's just a, a easy case of a ruptured scaphoid lunate ligament with mild proximal migration of the capitate bone, widening of the scaphoid lunate interspace, DISI, which we can see here. And so far, no evidence of the arthritis, which will develop eventually. And that's it. Thank you very much.